Hello friends, welcome back to MPR TV and in this video we are going to see what's the key difference between primary partition and extended partitions. So in the last video we just see the key difference between basic disk and dynamic disk. Now what is partition? Disk partition is a defined storage space on a hard drive. There are three kinds of partition. Primary partition, extended partition and logical partitions that are available on basic disk with MPR partition style. All Windows operating system can let users divide a hard disk into multiple partitions in this way making one physical hard disk into several smaller logical partitions. So with the help of multiple partition you can organize your classified data on a several partition and that will help to organize data very effectively. On Microsoft Windows system the OS was installed in a one partition and other some partition is created to store user data, documents and so on. This benefit is when a problem occurs with Windows OS system, the OS partitions can be totally destroyed and reinstalled but this does not affect the data on other partitions. We can create a primary partition or we can create an extended partition, we can create a logical partition that is that are the three partitions types available in a basic disk. So what is the main advantage of primary partition? A primary partition is in which an operating system can be installed. One MBR hard disk may can contain a maximum of four primary partition. An active partition is a base on primary partition. And as you are seeing, we have active partition, but that is on a primary partition. Any one of the four primary partition can be set as an active partition. So you can set this partition as active or you can set this partition as active because all three partitions are primary partition. Since there can be a four primary partition with a four different operating system installed, one of the partition that is marked active is used for initial booting. So you that means you can go with multi booting. The active partition contains a bootloader such as the NTLDR for previous version of Windows operating system and boot MGR for newer version of Windows operating system. Just remember, active partition store the bootloader information to load operating system from the hard drive. Now, what is extended partition? Let's see. So let's create another partition. As we are seeing, we have a three primary partition. So if we are going for a fourth partition, that partition will be automatically created as a extended partition. Let's finish. And as we are seeing, now we have a extended partition. And inside, we just created a logical partition. And still we have a free space. So we can create another logical partition. Okay, so we have a two logical drive inside the extended partition. So because on a single disk you can create a maximum four primary partition, this need to use extended partition to break the limitation of four partitions on a single disk. In an extended partition, you can create an unlimited logical drives. You can store data in a logical partition similar with the primary partition but the extended partition is not used to store the data because the extended partition is used to hold logical partitions information at the same time there is a one extended partition on a one disk. So let's see the key difference between uh, primary partition and extended partition. First, a primary partition function as though it is a physical separate disk and can host an operating system on the other hand extended partition cannot host an operating system. Now if you see on a primary partition, you can mark a primary partition as an active partition to load an operating system. You can't mark an extended partition as a active partition. On other end, if we see about the primary partition, on basic disk using MBR, we can create a up to maximum four primary partition. And a basic disk using MBR can only contain a one extended partition per disk, but inside the extended partition, you can create a unlimited logical drives. On primary partition, you format each primary partition and assign a unique drive later. On other hand, on an extended partition, you don't need to format the extended partition, but if you create a logical drive, then you have to format the logical drive and then you can assign a unique drive letter to each of your logical drives, which is represent as a one partition. So this is the key difference between primary partition and extended partition. And that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.